A San Diego senior who has been scammed twice now says she wants to help others avoid becoming a target. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Marcella Lee is off tonight. The San Diego District Attorney says anyone can become a victim, but senior citizens are losing more because they have more to lose. CBS 8's Abby Black is working for you. She talked to the woman and has tips on how you can protect yourself. Pat Holden thought that she was getting an email from Amazon where she could get three months Prime membership for free. It was during the holidays, so she thought that would be fantastic. Moments later, she realized it was a scam. We're working for you on how tech scams are taking advantage of online shoppers. I actually don't shop stores hardly ever. 76-year-old Pat Holden hopes by sharing how she fell for this Amazon membership scam, she'll prevent it from happening to others. I got to tell you, I'm pretty good at checking everything. The Fletcher Hills online shopper thought that the email was from Amazon offering free Prime membership since it said that her membership expired. Extend for free. Right Holden there. says that she clicked the link. This was one of the things that I filled out to get given my credit card. Holden shared with us that her husband just fell for a Facebook scam and she had to get a new credit card. So she thought her payment information needed to be updated with Amazon. I waited. I waited. That's when Holden called Amazon and was told it was a scam. She then called her bank and froze her account. Within nine minutes, I took care of it. It hasn't always been easy for Holden. This isn't the first time I've been had, believe me. That's why I can't believe I fell for this one. I found that every single day, elderly San Diegans are falling for these scams on the phone, text, and email. And for 2023, we're already over $75 million in losses due to elder scams alone. San Diego County Deputy District Attorney Scott Perillo heads the Elder Abuse Unit and helped create the first of its kind Elder Justice Task Force. It's made up of local law enforcement and the FBI. He applauds Holden for coming forward. That there's nothing to be ashamed of. They need to report it so that we know how large the problem is here locally. Perillo says that they also provide support for victims. He recommends before you do anything, take a pause. And slow down, hang up the phone. Call someone you love. Perillo recommends that victims report scams to the FBI at IC3.gov and also report it to local law enforcement. I don't think if I would have just walked away, it wouldn't have been so easy for me. Looking back, Holden wishes that she had taken a breath and seen the red flag in the email address. Daintyho.com. The grandmother's glad that she didn't lose any money and hopes her story prevents others from getting scammed. I'm very, very careful. Just not that time. Everything fell into place just so that I could get scammed. Working for you, Abby Black, CBS 8.